And welcome to Get Squiffy with me, Rebecca. It's Saturday, it's eight o'clock. It's just, well, it's still eight o'clock right now. You've joined me this evening, rather than all that rubbish that might be on BBC One or ITV3 right now, it's time to drink some beers. Now, I wanna say a great big thank you, of course, to everybody who tuned in last week. And hopefully we've got some new people joining us this evening. So what is getting squiffy with Rebecca? It's very simple. We drink beer together, we taste the drinks and then we share our comments and of course you guys get the opportunity to taste those drinks as well because I'm going to let you know what I'm going to be trying next week. Uh, I want to say hello to Ian, lovely hitch up and toe, good evening Adrian, hello, welcome. I don't know whether you've got any of the beers that we're going to be sampling tonight but if you have I've got a list for you in order. So let me show you what we've got coming up tonight. We've got, starting with the first one in the picture, we've got First Chop Jam. It's a, a mango pail, followed by the Bottle Yammer House from Northern Whisperer. Then we've got Mo Brew Beer. Straw, uh, it's a strawberry beer. I'm really excited to try this one. I'm hoping it's not going to let me down and be like those awful drinks that we've had over the last few weeks. And then we've got Juicy Pale from a Big Hug Brewery. A couple of shout outs, of course, to Do Little Campers. Love you guys. Thank you. And of course, to the Big Jace. I hope that your arm or your hand gets better very, very soon. Big hugs and love to you guys out there. And of course, everybody at home that tunes in every week to watch and share and get squiffy with me. <laughs> so, one thing I will tell you that I've learned my lesson from last week. I am not going to be starting with the strongest percentage drink because I was quite squiffy within probably about 10 minutes. <laughs> I couldn't help it. 8.5% bottle, I'd have half of that. And you've got to remember, folks, I am a lightweight. I don't drink much. Uh, I only really drink when I was touring on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It makes me sound like a bit of an alky, actually. But I'm only sampling. But because I'm mixing, that's when it all goes peak tong. I mean, it's a good job I finish at nine o'clock because you wouldn't want to see the aftermath that I get up to at the end of the show. So let's get on with it. Let's get some beers in, shall we? We're going to start off with beer number one. We've got it here. Big Hug Brewery. Let me get my details. Uh, 4%. It's a, London it's a London brewery company. There we go. I've got a photo of it right there. <laughs> Let's get it in the glass. Now, for everybody who... <laughs> I know, Ian. Tell me about it. For everybody who is new to tasting, um, I got this one as a freebie. What I like about this one, it's uh, it's kind of tulips, so you get to be able to get the aroma and still get a good body with a good head in it. It's a great glass. It's such a shame though about this horrible swirly bits. I know that, but we're gonna get it in. Let's crack it open. I quite like the funkiness of the can. You know, that, that might be, <laughs> if anybody has a pizza, that's might what it looked like at the end of the night if you've had too many of these <laughs> on, your, on your beige carpet. Let's get it in. Gosh, I can hear that. I can hear that. Okay, so let's have a look. I've got, I've got that there. Can we see the colour? Very pale. But I think in this light, it kind of looks like, you know, a pale, a pale amber. Marvin, that's my shoe. <laughs> Here we go. The head, the head's almost gone, look. This head's almost gone. It's not very big at all. It looks slightly hazy to me. Let's give it a smell. Now, it says it's a juicy pale. 
I'm getting a citrus. Do you know, I'm sometimes I get a little bit fed up with just how many citrus drinks there are out there. It's like, is that the core basis of every ale or pale ale is citrus? Marvin, everybody can hear you. Come back up to bed. Come on. Come on. Up you get. Come on. There we go. Get in your bed, look. There we are. Good girl. <laughs> okay, so we've got the citrus aroma. Let's give it a taste. Let's get it in my mouth. Whoa, very hoppy. Very hoppy. Very fragrant. It's like, it's like, for a woman, it's like, oh, hang on. Dimpled pint glass and a dark ale, then I'm happy. Hitch up and toe. Absolutely. I, I am... I think I will agree with you that I actually do prefer my darks than my pales. It's very floral, very fragrant, very hoppy. Don't know which hop it is yet. We'll find out in a second. But it's like, oh, do you know, I'm men, you've got to be able to understand when I say this. Hi, Big Jace. Hey, Big Jace is in the house. Lovely. I hope your hand is doing all right. Um, when you get something like this, of this hoppy, it's like, you know when you've hugged your gran or an old woman and they have perfumes that kind of sit on the shelf in their bedroom and the sunlight hits them, destroys all the nice sweet flavors and leaves this bitter, dry stuff that when they spray it and then they get too close, that's the only taste that you will have in your mouth for the rest of the day. That's pretty much what I'm tasting with this. Very dry, very bitter, very Poppy. Oh, not my cup of tea at all, this one. So it's 4% and it's from a London brewery called the Big Hug Brewery. Um, it says, a juicy hop forward session pale with low end bitterness and large quantities of mosaic and chinook. They're the hops. Fruity, juicy aromas with a touch of pine Oats and wheat give it a body of depth and smooth mouse mouthfeel. Smooth mouthfeel is not what I'm getting. It feels like somebody has just got hold of um, a welcome mat and rubbed it across, across my tongue. Um, I don't understand what it is when it comes to uh, putting pine, pine, granny beer. That's what it is. Absolutely, hitch up and toe, granny beer. I just don't understand. Why would you want a drink to taste of a tree? You know, last the two weeks prior we had this tree thing. Last week we had this grass thing. Now I've got this granny thing going on. You know, and it's just like, I it, it's just, it smells better than what it tastes. Absolutely. Whoa. Right, let me just get a mouthful of water and just see if that makes the taste any different. Because the good thing is, is when you wash your palate, <laughs> look at little little Marvin's this side up. Um, when you taste, when you cleanse your palate, you get to the the opportunity to identify different flavors. Oh no, still as granny. That was the first time I drank it. Mm. Okay, let's go with the tasting notes. Now, I struggled to find tasting notes on a lot of the drinks tonight. Um, so it contains gluten, this, this particular drink. It's not gluten-free. Um, but it is vegan, it is vegetarian, which is fantastic. Obviously, you get 90-year-old vegans that will love this. Um, this isn't, what am I scoring this? I'm gonna give this a three. This is really low for me tonight. It's going, I'm just gonna taste once more, one more time. Gives me nothing, gives me nothing. There's no full body to go in my mouth. There's no fizz that I can feel bubbling up on my tongue. There's nothing, it just leaves me with. I 
it's just dry. It's dry. It's bitter. It's my granny. It's granny beer. This is a no. It gets a three from me. I'm scoring it. Ian, I've got a pen this time. I'm writing it down. Big Hook Brewery, Juicy Pale from London at 4% gets a three out of 10 for me. Now, as anybody who's in the chat room tonight, has anybody got any of the beers? Has anybody bought any of the beers? What's going on? When's a cider night? <laughs> I'll bring some ciders to the table, shall I? Yeah, I like a bit of cider. I did try um, rosy pig, uh, the pink pig, um, and that was very nice. Uh, rhubarb it was. It was rhubarb cider called rosy pig from the company that does old rosy and that was when i went to uh the fox and hounds at grantham and yeah oh, that one i remember that one that certainly was um very tart very very sharp excuse me just give my glass a clean mm. let's get that one out the way that can go it really can Okay, let's look at beer number two for tonight. First chop, jam. Now, it's a mango pale, mango pale. Now, oh, please, please be good to me. Be good to me. I want mango. Mm. So this one's got a lot of fizz. Mm. Slurping away. Um... Um, oh dear. Oh, dopey. Look at that head. Cool loves a good bit of head like that. That's good. It's like an inch. It's like an inch thick. It's lovely. Let's have a look at the colour. So, there's still a haze through it. Cannot see through it. Slightly darker than the first one. I see. You like Adnams. Um, I'm, I don't. I like Adnams Broadside. It's not bad. Um, is it Adnams that does proper job? Not too keen on that. So let's give it a sniff. I can't really smell much, actually. Can't really smell much from this one. It's very gentle. Maybe a bit fruity. Let's just get it in my mouth, shall we? Okay, I can taste a mild, mild mango. It's carbonated. It's very thin. Can't really feel anything going in or down. Very fizzy. Come on, Marvin. Up you jump. Come on. Or you won't get a chicken. Come on up. <laughs> yes. She's like, chinkin, chinkin. <laughs> Okay, so this is certainly a lot better than the first drink. It's nice, it's pleasant. It's got a thin body. I can feel the bubbles going all the way down, gliding down. It's nice, it's refreshing. Slight dryness, not too much. Wouldn't say there's much of a bitter aftertaste. Let's give it another go. Yeah. Yeah, this is not bad, not too bad. Let's have a look, let's have a read, shall we? See what it says. Um, what's it saying? Not a lot, really. Let's get the tasting notes up and see what first chop jam beer is saying. So uh, normally I use, can't smell much, COVID test for you. <laughs> Adrian, you naughty sod. Um, okay, so it's a beautiful mango-infused pale ale, um, it, and it's from the um, brewery's first chop in uh, Manchester. Excuse me. It's gluten-free. So the tasting notes for this is mango, tropical fruit juice notes. I'm not getting major. Mango only belongs on poppadoms. Do you know, I don't like, I'm not, it's like, who is pineapple and pizza? I just don't do, I don't do fruits. 
with anything savory apart from I might do a grape with a cheese uh, only if it's the right cheese normally I do walnuts with cheese or nuts with cheese and port obviously it's the best combination oh my gosh did we not discuss this last week the Stilton cheese oh no I did a 40 question challenge and yes I go into my 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 obsession with blue cheese and walnuts and port the warmth how they just blend together and glide down your throat it's lovely nom, nom, nom. okay so continuing with this one yeah it's okay um it's not amazing it's not shouting out anything to me it's not going hey wow look at me i'm full of flavor full of body i'm not getting any of that but it's not not it's not non pleasant if that makes sense it's um it's refreshing it's a mild mild notes of um fruit juice normally when i get a tropical drink blasts me with tropical doesn't it it really does um oh my gosh ian adrian blue cheese port what you do forget the crackers wasted carbs absolutely wasted sit down puppet sit down and so you get a, bl a slab of cheese and then you get the the walnut on top of the cheese and if it's slightly warm just curl up the edges pop it all in take the port whilst you've still got some reminiscence in your mouth and let it glide down your throat oh my gosh it's heaven it's divine you can feel the silkiness of the of the cream of the cheese with the bitter sharpness of the blue that that mashes up with the walnut it's gorgeous so nice and then the port the warmth oh it's amazing it's amazing so we're going on with this come on up or you don't get any chicken come and you sit down and wait so we're still on the, the first chopped jam the mango pale now I'm just going to have some water because we like to have a bit of water I've got <laughs> sticking up uh, we like to have a bit of water, see how we go. We're not going to get squiffy at this rate, we're not. Hi, country van life. Sit down then. Marvin's being a, mo being a monster. So let's give it another sniff. Give it a chimkin, that's it. So, yeah, it's just, it's just myrrh. It's myrrh. There's no real wow to this drink there's no real oh to this drink there's nothing it's like it's almost gone flat now yeah not a big one on this not a big one on this has anybody tried these particular drinks that i've got in yet has anybody tried them uh big jace you seem to me that you are a cider guy, I believe. Um, Country Van Life, what is your drink? Um, I know that there's cider going on tonight. <laughs> it's up and toe, they like a cider. Um, Adrian, what do you drink? Let me know, guys, I really wanna know because if you guys recommend me a drink, I'll get it in and I'll sample it. I don't know how long these shows are gonna go on for. I'm really enjoying doing them. I do get squiffy quite quickly. Today, I'm still feeling good. My eyes are still white, so we're all right. <laughs> so, let's bring it back to uh, the first chop jam. This drink, what am I gonna score it? Do you know, I think, let me shift my bum up. <laughs> milk? <laughs> you, you like milk? <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to call this, um, well, I'm scoring it. I think I'm going to go with a five. It's just a five. It's only because it's a five because it's nicer than the other one, but it's actually just meh of a drink. Um, maybe four and a half. 
Okay, I'm gonna give this one four and a half. It is gluten-free. It says great taste, 2019. Um, it's vegan, brilliant. It's only getting four and a half from me tonight. Four and a half. It would be great if anybody... <gasps> Ian, Aldi, toffee ale. Oh, I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna have a look. That would be amazing. Shall I do a shop? She's, she's humping the bear. Mother. <laughs> oh dear. She's humping her bed behind me now. At least somebody's getting some action. <laughs> let's put that out of the way. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's move on to bear number three. <laughs> Oh, not as good as Aldi Chews Puff Balls. I tell you what, those Puff Balls, Adrian, are the best. Now, where I am parked, I am parked next to a fruit and veg van. So I have, um, I'm at this wonderful place at Broughton Astley uh, called The Bull. And um, everybody here is amazing. And James, the landlord, he's superb. And But they do this like market style thing. And I've got a load of... Uh, fruits and vegetables. So I've been eating fruit and veg. I started yesterday and then I bought some today and the problem with fruit and veg is lots of wind. So it's a good job you guys don't have smell-o-vision because otherwise I would have blown you away by now. <laughs> Let's have a look. Um, Country Van Life has said, I find it hard to get your selection. Maybe get four from one particular store so we can find it, taste and follow. Yes, brilliant idea. So what I did do is at the beginning of the first show and two weeks ago, I showed you the box that I got and where to get the box from. So we've only got one week left, which are these ones here, which I'll show you shortly. So, um, and then after that, yes, uh, hitch up and tow. I will go out. I will go to Lidl's, Aldi, Tesco's, and I'll find some craft beers that we can all try. I will do that. I will do that this week, actually, because obviously we've got them for next week. So, yeah, I will do that. <laughs> okay. And you're quite partial to sex on the beach. Do you know, I've had sex on the beach, and I'm sorry, but it's only beneficial to the male because as far as a female's concerned, the bits get everywhere and these bits are things that you're trying to wash out for days after because it's not an easy job to remove sand from your ass it really isn't <laughs> so sex on the beach is out the question oh the cocktail the cocktail yes yeah i like the cocktail too <laughs> oh dear <laughs> i should scroll shouldn't i <laughs> Okay, it's squiffy time with Rebecca. <laughs> Gosh. All right, let me have some water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yes, I'm still live. Let's keep going. Keep going. <laughs> so we've got um, we've got our two final beers. Wow, we, we're smashing this. We are smashing this. I'm a bit early, actually. I'm still a bit early to get the next one in. Um, Ian, do me a favor. If you are in, where is it, Aldi at any point, can you take a photo of it and send it to me on WhatsApp? Now, you can obviously, you can, uh, not WhatsApp, um, <laughs> Instagram. You can Insta me on either a motorhome life of Hank and Marvin, very simple. Or you can join me on Get at, Get Squiffy at Get Squiffy. I've made up a little account just for this because I think it would be great if we can build up our beer drinking community together on a Saturday night, especially whilst getting close to Christmas. And let's let's have some fun together. Maybe at Christmas time we will do a two-hour special and get some of you guys joining me as well. Because if you've got Skype, then you can all come and say hello with me. That's no problem whatsoever. So, let's move on. Beer number three, there it is. The strawberry, the Mo Brew. 
strawberry bread. <laughs> she just quit now. Uh, <laughs> no, so it's Mo Brew strawberry beer, four percent, and it is from Cambridge. So this is from uh, Mo Brew Brewers in Cambridge. Now I've been dying to try this i oh hello <laughs> been dying absolutely dying <gasps> oh oh my gosh filling my glass up it just spilt it just poured itself oh my gosh look at that red and it's got a pink head on it small bit of fizz can you see oh look at that beautiful oh my gosh oh wow do you know it tastes like it tastes like it smells like oh what is it is it like you know when you get those um mmm oh gorgeous <clears throat> You know when you get those, they're like um, toothbrushes, they're little candy, the little sweets that are toothbrushes. <laughs> Russ is about. <laughs> hey Russ, <laughs> nice to have you here. Where have you been? You've missed out stuff. We're on beer number three now. It's like, oh, it's divine. Mmm. Oh, it just smells amazing. Do you know those sweets that you get? The little um, toothbrushes. Can you remember them? The little candies. Pink head. I'm not going there. <laughs> well, it's the head is gone now, so it's gone. It looks actually like a bit of a wine. <laughs> let's give it a let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hang on a minute. Mmm. 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 Just one minute. Mmm. Wow. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. It's so, it's, it's like, how can they say that this is a beer? I don't know how they can say this is a beer. So let's have a read of the back. It says, uh, Mowbray was established in 2019 with an aim to provide a high quality, great tasting UK brewed range of Belgium style fruit wheat beers the beers are all gluten free and made in cambridgeshire combined combining over 200 years of the uk brewing expertise with authentic belgium recipes now i'm come on i'm not getting any style <laughs> sit down then sit down yes hello what you doing i'm not getting any of the Belgian beer flavors in this. You know, they normally have a very unique taste, a unique smell. I don't get any of that with this. This to me is almost like a non-alcoholic cider. Um, like, let me just see if I can get it. Oh, wow. It's just like, It's like a recording. Um, this, there's no beer flavor to this. It's like a, a recording without the sharp tartness of the apple. That's what I'm getting from this. Um, Adrian, if it's on, will you and Marvin and Hank, remember, 
be going to the Peterborough or Lincoln Motorhome shows next year. More than likely, more than likely, what I want to do is I've got to reschedule the tour now. I've got to put the tour into um, a different context because, excuse me. <laughs> Number one, if people are enjoying the stream, I will do this stream um, again every Saturday. I think it's a great idea. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy chatting to all of you guys. I really enjoy tasting all these beers. It's brilliant. I love it, love it, love it. Um, so and because of that, I do my weekly vlog that comes out on a Sunday. I do, I'm busy Mondays. So, um, I'm gonna look at doing pubs Tuesdays and Thursdays and that's it. I can't really do, Marvin, I can't, I can't do so much editing uh, more than that. Um, Life Beyond Bricks, hello, lovely to have you here tonight. It's, it is, this drink is lovely. It's really nice, it's, it's lost its fizz already. Yeah, it's it's flat. It's gone flat, which I'm just slightly disturbed at. It's only four percent. You know, it's not heavy in alcohol at all. It's so. Let's bring it back to the drink. <laughs> well, um, country van life. I've still got some pubs that I'm going to be doing at the moment. So I'm going to be finishing out the year with with the ones that I've already got planned. I'm really gutted, I'm unable to do here where I'm at because obviously on the second it becomes um, tier three. So I won't be able to, but I am gonna be able to move to Peterborough and um, do the uh, couple of pubs that I've got there as I move through. And then of course it's Christmas and hopefully we can get something done uh, for something here. Uh, Project Amber, lovely to have you with us tonight. I hope everybody is trying their drinks tonight. Uh, so just for a recap of what we've already gone through. Oh, get them out. So the first drink of the night was the B Big Hug Brewery Pale Ale. Um, we're calling, we're nicknaming this the granny drink. This is the granny drink um, because it just reminded me of like, you know, granny perfume that gets left in your on your on your mouth. You know, if you've ever hugged your granny and they've got like really old stale perfume, that's that's kind of what this one reminds me of. And then um, jam, the peng, mango pale. Uh, I gave this a four and a half out of ten because it's just the only words I can give this was just meh. That's all I could give it was meh. You know, nothing to shout out about, nothing at all. So we'll put that one back over there on that. No, I won't be finishing those off. But this one, the Mo Bro or Mo Brew Fruit Beers. We'll just see if we can get a bit, bit of fizz come back. Look, there's a little bit of fizz, tiny bit, but it goes flat very quickly. My initial smell is, can you remember the sweets that were those little tiny pink uh, pink toothbrushes with the white bits. They were like a penny, weren't they? Penny sweets, penny chews. But it wasn't. It wasn't like gum, like a gum, like a bear. It was. It wasn't like the jelly stuff. It was like other stuff. I don't know what that is. The difference is. But this one, it's like. Um, I will. So as soon as lockdown, so country van life. As soon as the tears come in. Um, I, I will have already been, I will have moved to tier two. Um, I'm in a huge car park all by myself. I don't see anybody apart from the fruit and veg guy. That's it. But I've got my mask, I've got my gloves and we keep ourselves to ourselves. And um, yeah, don't hate me for doing anything, for moving. Please don't hate me. Come on folks, let's get back to beer. It's beer time, beer time. Um, so yes, the strawberry Mo Brew uh, fruit beer. I'm gonna give this a six. It's not gonna go higher than that because look, it's lying to me. 
It's lying. Because I put it in my mouth, I get no bubbles. I get nothing gliding down my throat. It's all flat. It's flat now. <clears throat> it's nice. I couldn't drink too many of them because it's very sweet. Super sweet. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to give this one. <laughs> I'm still drinking. Do you know what we haven't done? We haven't gone to the water, gone to get the water, rinse the palate. Mm. Yep, we've rinsed in the palate and then give it another go. Wow. Wow, it's so sweet. Let's read the tasting notes that I've got from the Mobru strawberry fruit beers uh, real strawberry juice is added to a traditional wit beer based to deliver a full fruity drink with a vibrant red color a pink foamy head and a delicious fruit aroma sweet yet balanced smooth and gently carbonated it looks and smells as good as it tastes do you know it does it looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. You can see almost, almost much as my top. It's beautiful. I love that. Um, I don't know. I think I just, I don't know what's missing. What's, I need to drink it. There we go. It's all gone. It's all gone. This is for research purposes only. It's beautiful. Look at that. The color, look. I was meant to have this tonight. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. <laughs> Don't drink water. Fish do things in it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. So my last one round with this. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. It tastes beautiful. There's just something. There's just something not right. It's like, I can't taste the alcohol. You know, with recording with cider, you you kind of, well, you don't really know that it, that's alcoholic either, do you? To be honest, folks, if you're drinking a recording, a fruit cider, you kind of forget that it's alcoholic because it's so refreshing you just drink it all in one go. I've never had any worry um, with fruit ciders of thinking, you know, um, I'm going to be drunk. I don't know. Do people get drunk on fruit ciders? I've never really got drunk on fruit ciders. Red is your colour. Thank you very much, Country Van Life. I like that. Thank you. I do like a bit of red, a bit of purple. Mmm. Yeah, I think what they needed to do, what I do think, I made the mistake of coming to this live with no alcoholic beverage. Well, do you know Life Beyond Bricks? I've got four left, and some of these you can get at Sainsbury's or Tesco's, but what everybody is recommending to me is not next Saturday. In fact, yeah, not next Saturday, the Saturday after. I'm going to go to Aldi or a Lidl. Um, who's, right, everybody who's watching, send me a message of what you've got close by you. If there's two or three, then put it two or three. But please write it down so I know, because if everybody all says Sainsbury's, then I'll go to Sainsbury's. If everybody all says Tesco's, I'll go to Tesco's. If everybody all says Lidl's, you get the picture. Mm. Oh, it's so good. It's so nice. More whisking. Don't forget the cheese puffs. No. I need to shift this half a stone that I have put on through lockdown. I am not. And I will not be getting any cheese puffs. Okay, so we've got the first one in Tesco. Hitch up and toe. 
Lidl, Russ, do you have a Tesco's near you? Oh, so beautiful. Mm. And it's gone. It's gone. Lidl. Little Aldi Tesco. So Tesco's is winning at the moment. Life Beyond Bricks. Uh, <laughs> okay. Cider is a is poor a syrup mix. Refreshing, but not a cider. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, what we'll do then is we'll get, I will get one cider. I'm going to go to Tesco's. And we'll get it ready. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I'm, I'm just looking. Mm, mm, it's water. Okay, so we've got. <laughs> I don't have a whiskey. Um, the problem I would I would think about tasting Steve Tesco. Okay, Steve, you're in the mix. Lovely. Welcome to the show. Um, I think having testing, uh, tasting whiskey, um, whiskey could be quite expensive to get a bottle, especially if you're not a, beer, uh, a whiskey drinker. So I think I'm going to leave the whiskey. I am partial to a little bit of Drambuie, but that's about it. Ian, have you you've got a Tesco? Because I think Tesco is the winner tonight. Aldi, it's got to be a Tesco, I think. <laughs> I'm so pleased you guys are having so much fun. So, we are coming on. I drank that whole bottle. It's gone. It's gone. I like that. So, scoring. Let me score it. I haven't scored it yet. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay, i got to think. Because it's not as nice as the Belgian beer. Where's my where's my original notes? I can't remember what it was called. Oh, the toffee one. Ludette. Not no. What was the toffee one called? I know it's amazing. Hello to everybody watching. Mwah. <laughs> Big loves and hug. Um what was the Belgian beer that I drank on the first one? It was toffee, it was caramels, it was it was high in percentage, it blew me away. I was just, I gave that a seven. Um, <laughs> bargain boost. <laughs> I can't remember. Right, okay, guys, I'm scoring this one. It's getting a six. It's getting a six from me tonight. We've got one beer left. So this one is, uh, let me get it up. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, this stuff's rubbish. Do I not? Yammer House. Okay, I don't have much on it. I don't have much on it. Have everything at Tesco's. Tesco's it is. Um. <laughs> Whiskey. I don't think I could do a night on the whiskey. I'm such a lightweight. I'm such a lightweight. Okay, come on. We come on, folks. Let's bring it back to the beers. It's beer time. And the final beer for the night is Yammer House from the Northern Whisper Brewing Company. 4.5. This is an American pale ale. It's an American pale ale. Let me just give my glass. I clean. I can see my eyes are glazing now. It's getting squiffy in here. Da -da. <laughs> mm. There we go. Yammer House. Let's go straight in the glass. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the. Oh, that looks pink. It's not. It's not pink. Look at the head on that. Love a good head. Look at that. Can you see it? It's just over an inch thick. That's an inch of head. That's fab. Look at it. But does that mean it's going to be gassy? Let's give it a smell. Oh, this is actually, this actually smells Belgium to me. <clears throat> Where's it from? 
Why have I not got the details of where it's from? Come on, Rebecca, where have you been? Big, brash, bold and ballsy. This is a pale ale as American as apple pie and monster truck brewed from some of the best hops we've sourced from across the pond. Yamaha House makes a perfect session beer for every occasion. Doesn't tell me where they are. Let's have a look at the back. Lancashire, for all you folks out there. There we go. So, looks good. The colour, let's look at the colour. It's... <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that. Do you know what I was going to say? <laughs> this is what the colour of my pee looked like when I was drinking in Belgium. <laughs> I could have filtered it and drink it again <laughs> and I tell you what being inside a motorhome in the summer when you're peeing this was just awful oh. <laughs> the smell was so bad <laughs> gosh okay come on <laughs> so where were we Yama House. <laughs> okay. It's got a big head on it. Love a good head. <laughs> Nuts piss. <laughs> okay. So the colour is on range of Rebecca's pea from Belgium. So we like that. <laughs> Let's give it a smell. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm feeling squiffy now. Okay, let's give it a smell. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm, I am getting Belgium, actually. I, I'm, I am getting Belgium. Let's move that out of the way. Pee with a head. That's I'm not the only one. <laughs> gosh. Is your pee a bit foamy? Oh, we need to, we need to call a doctor for that. Okay, what am I getting? I don't know what I'm getting. Oh, I'm dribbling with laughter. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Oh, okay. Mmm, okay. I'm getting a very gentle hop. Gentle hop. Maybe a mild bit of peach. Is that peach? I don't know. Let's give it a taste. Let's get it in my mouth. <laughs> Someone's walked past. Don't quite know what I'm getting with this. It's very dry. Very dry. It's very carbonated. Very carbonated. I don't, I don't like it. I'm getting a stewed tea. It's made my mouth that dry. Struggling to speak. Mm. Okay. Um. Yeah, I couldn't get any tasting notes on this. I'm really embarrassed. Um, I'm not... So it's an American, let me go back up. So it's an American uh, style 
pale ale. Normally, I, but I am getting a kind of Belgium, Belgium sniff. Um, it's not, it's not what I'd normally go for. This isn't. Oh my gosh, what was that? Oh no, no. It's the tree. The tree is back folks, the tree is back. Let me see, let me get my keyboard. Let me see um, what I can find on this because this is just blah. Yammer House tasting notes. Okay. Um, herbal rosemary bitterness with uh, overwhelming hoppiness, bold. Um, what else have we got here? Excuse me. Um, what somebody has written, um, tropical fruit aromas, hint of coconut with juicy pineapple and pina colada notes. Are you for real? Jesus, you've just had, you've obviously just drunk, um, a cocktail because this isn't it, this. Pina colada, oh, hang on. Let me see. I see where he's coming from, only when I do that. Coconut. It's not my hand, is it? Oh no, it might be my hand. No, I think it's my hand. Let me try something else. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not coconut. That's my hands. This is dry. Um, it's hoppy. It's floral. I've got no real fruit from this. I haven't. It's bitter. It's got a good head on it though. I like a good head. But it's just not, it's just not, it's not for me. I, I, look, I, I don't, I want to apologize. If anybody is a real fond lover of these particular drinks, um, You've just got to remember, everybody's taste buds are very, very different. I'm a savoury tooth, but I do like a sweet drink. But I do like, um, I don't, I appreciate sweet drinks, but if I'm going to drink drink, then I think, I think Belgian beers are, are my biggest fan so far because they've just got, they've got body, they've got depth, they've got flavour, not over the top. They've got alcohol. You only need two pints and you're away with the fairies. That's what getting squiffy is all about. So, this one for me. Okay, I'm giving Yammer House. I'm giving Yammer House a four. It's going for a four. So, what does that mean? What does that mean? So, we have. We've got the Mo Strawberry, the Mo Brew Strawberry Beer. We've got had the first chop jam, the mango pale ale. Let's put them all here. Let's move the pen out of the way. Uh, we've had the Big Hug Brewery, uh, juicy pale, and we've just finished. Well, we it, there's plenty of it in there. Uh, Yammer House Northern Whisperer. So tonight's loser let me get it up tonight's loser folks is let make sure I've got it right it's just no good <laughs> it's no it's not what you want it's really not it was dry let's have another taste So, you can see the colour, you can see the head. Whoa, 
floral. Mm. Oh, my gran has just taken a dump in my mouth. It's awful. So dry. So dry. Mm -mm. Tonight's winner. Let me get tonight's winner up for everybody. Let's move that out of the way. Is. Dun 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 dun. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> there you go. I've got a burp coming. Excuse me, folks. Pardon me. That's tonight's winner. Wow. Um, I won't be drinking that. That's going to go. I will certainly not be drinking that. I will certainly not be finishing that. That one I'm, I might leave outside and see if somebody wants to. I'll put on the, I'll put on the, hello, <laughs> get my camera in focus. I might leave it outside and say free perfume. <laughs> so... <laughs> Wow, what a night we've had tonight. Let's, um, I know Russ, I, I look forward to all of the beers. It's such a shame that, you know, you can get fooled by amazing, amazing works on the tin. And this is a prime example. Next week, we've got Beaver Town. Da, da, da. There we go. We've got Beaver Town Neck Oil. Session IPA. We've got Orbit Prague Pilsner Unfiltered Lager. I'm going to be trying this one. And we've got Jepur. Jepur. Now I know you can get this one in co op at the moment because I've seen it in co op. Um, <clears throat> there's that one. And then Sputnik. Pale Ale. I'm sure you've seen these ones too. <laughs> a bit of beaver, Jace. A bit of beaver. We like a bit of beaver, don't we? <laughs> so, let me put that. <laughs> Have I not got a I thought I had a picture. So, those are going to be uh, next, next week's um, drinks. Now, um, what sort of... Now, I'd like to ask the audience a couple of questions if I may so I can write them down ciders so if I'm gonna get a cider I don't want um, I don't want to get something I like the unusual I like to be able to get something that not everybody has tried that you know um, that I, I, I don't want it to be difficult for you guys to find it but I don't want I don't want it to be a normal beer or a normal cider choice for everybody. So, um, if anybody has any recommendations for me, text them to me separately. And um, I know, Big Jace, you'll probably have a cider that you can recommend. Russ, uh, <laughs> um, Russ, was that a drink or a relaxant? Which one? Sputnik. <laughs> Or Jepur. It's from Thornbridge. We've had a drink from Thornbridge. We have. Um, so yes, please do let me know uh, what beers. If you've if you've tried an unusual drink that you'd like me to showcase on the show, then just send me a message. Let me know. Uh, but apart from that, I've had a wonderful evening tonight getting squiffy with you guys. I thoroughly enjoy my Saturdays. Um, the beaver neck oil. <laughs> oh, you've been watching Get Squiffy with me, Rebecca, live on YouTube on A Motorhome Life of Hank and Marvin. Please don't forget to tune in next week, 8 o'clock, folks, as we're going to be trying four brand new different drinks. And, um, of course, you can join into at home. The following week, we're going to do what's in your local store. Thank you to Adrian. Thank you, Big Jace. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, Hitch Up and Toe Up. Thank you, Country Van Life. Thank you, Life Beyond Bricks and everybody else 
who's been chatting to me in the chat room tonight. It's been a wonderful show. And I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.